Negative Lab Pro is an excellent plugin for your uh, film photography uh, to convert your scanned negatives, especially um, uh, color negatives. But problem is you need Lightroom, any kind of Lightroom. And it's problematic if you are like me, uh, don't use Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop as such. You don't have any Adobe subscription. Um, one of the best solution that I found, which is the free Affinity Photo. Now, I'm gonna show you how quickly you can actually convert your film negatives in Affinity Photo with a nice and beautiful color. I mean, nice and beautiful is very personal perspective, but in my opinion, it was good enough in my many tests. Now, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna go to my scanned files, right click it, and then click Affinity Photo. Now all the films are scanned with my PlusTech 8100, which is a very phenomenal uh, film scanner. Um, gives me a good result. Generally, I use Silverfast, the free version. But of course, um, you know this video is made for those folks who does not have uh, this particular software. Now we are in the develop persona of Affinity Photo. Now you can do majority of the work right here, to be honest. Um, I would go straight to the curve first of all and of course you can just invert the curve already and that should give you a bright um, inverted color image. Now what you need to do, you need to do two things. As you can look at the histogram, it's really far on the right so that means it's super bright. You need some contrast and you need some, you need to bring back some color now one way to do that you have two way to do that one you can just play still with the curve you can clearly see that just by doing that you have a pretty decent contrast and image looks you know in my opinion pretty awesome and now i could go to the details generally i turn off the noise reduction and sharpening i add them later in the basic, I would add some little bit of uh, uh, vibrance, not saturation, vibrance, because in my opinion, saturation is a bit aggressive. So I would add some little bit of vibrance right there. And then in the white balance, I know it's a personal choice at the end of the day. It looks, it has a slight um, green overcast. So I'm just gonna bring up my tint let's see if i can add some red in it mm, no i cannot go more than that so i can go to the layer and then do some more work that shouldn't be a problem right now in this case i'm just going to work with my contrast so i added vibrance i'm going to add some more vibrance that looks good now I'm gonna go to my contrast, add some more contrast. Let's see. That looks fine too. Now, you know what? I will stop right here. And then in our layer, I'll click quickly duplicate and we're gonna work on the duplicate layer. Now in that, I'm just going to change my scope to RGB Parade. Uh, and I will go back and forth with the histogram and the RGB parade. Stick with the histogram for now. So first thing, again, I'm going to add some more contrast. So I'm going to go to the level and add some black. There you go. Some white. That looks all right too. And reduce the mid-tone. And again, put some more white. That looks all right. Then second thing I'm gonna like to do is to add some saturation. There you go. And I'm gonna turn on my HSL um, wheel and select yellow, get my picker 
put it on the grass and reduce some lights because to me it's a little bit too bright in my test and add some saturation right there same thing with the green get my picker do that and reduce a little bit of brightness i'll go back to saturation maybe add some bit more saturation because the color needs to be a bit more vibrant there you go it looks nice and beautiful and saturated and to be honest with you we already have a base now sky is the limit like you can continue on and on and on specifically you could get rid of these um, I'm gonna show you exactly in the scan I had a lot of scratch and dust so of course you can work on the scratch and dust but you exactly know how to do that that's not why we are here we are here to exactly show you how to invert um, your negative and get rid of the color cast good thing is that at the developed persona we already started with a good um, started with a good start meaning that it didn't give me any kind of hard time with um, blue or orange color cast so rest of the job was pretty much easy now you can stop right there or you can continue on and on and on just like a regular photo editing in order to bring back some more color more brightness in certain area of the image using a local uh, adjustment with the brush with the luminosity mask and etc etc now that's totally a department of affinity photo tutorial now we already um, established how to invert your image um, without any color cast so i hope up to this now you can manage to continue on with your own vision and with your own idea hopefully this video was very helpful if so come back in future videos i have some more materials to show you look after yourself bye bye